Hey guys, Thunder E here and we are back with a review I think you guys are going to really like. This is uh, a laptop review for the HP Envy X360. Now you've seen videos out there talking about this laptop, but we figured, look, we'll talk about, you know, some day-to-day -day use as well as also some light gaming because we like to game on this channel. Now, just to let you guys know, there is a sponsor in this video, so stay tuned to check out more on that from our sponsors, LG. Now, the HP NV X360 laptop is a two-in-one laptop. And what that means is that, of course, you can fold it up into a tablet mode, you can uh, put it into tent mode. It's got a touch screen, which is 15.6 uh, uh, inches, a full HD touch screen, which is nice, although I wish the brightness was a bit brighter for what you're actually getting with this laptop. But that being said though, uh, what you've heard from a lot of people is this laptop is probably the best laptop, and as the title says, at seven eight hundred dollars because you're getting something that packs in a lot of performance at a price that is affordable for a lot of people right now so let's take a look at the specs quickly for this as i mentioned display is 15.6 inches you're looking at the brand new ryzen 5 4500u which is a 4000 series processor and this is a u processor so it should compete in line with the core i5 you know u as well now uh, linus has done a lot of benchmarks on this but we decided to run our own uh, cinebench r20 and this came right below Low the Core i7 7700K, which is a desktop CPU. So performance wise, it's on the R Cinebench R20. That's actually pretty good. Now, our configuration here at this price point um, is 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and that's just enough that we can install Call of Duty Warzone. Man, that game is huge. 200 gigabytes for a game. It's that's crazy. Activision, please change that. But that being said though, this also is coupled with Radeon graphics in there. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth connectivity, all that fun stuff. So in terms of ports, this has actually a plethora of ports that you would think uh, a laptop of this size and depth shouldn't have. You've got two USB ports, one's a full size, the other one is kind of like a drop down. We've got a, a USB type C port, and then we've got a headphone jack and a proprietary um, power port. Now I would have liked to see another USB type C port for charging, but I'm fine, it makes sense because they probably did that to drop the cost. Now this also has a fingerprint sensor to actually uh, give you the ability to, ability to use Windows Hello, so you can sign in with a fingerprint, it's nice. The placement of the fingerprint sensor is a little bit awkward, as with some of the choices on the keyboard. So the keyboard itself is okay, I mean it's not nothing too crazy, but the top row key is a little bit small, the power button is actually placed in between other buttons and not either at the side. And of course, the trackpad itself is off-centered. So uh, I know some people have complained that, you know, if you've got big hands, it's a bit uh, disruptive with the trackpad location. It's smaller and also it's off to the left-hand side. Uh, I found it okay, but I can see how it will deter a lot of people in terms of use. Now, the touchscreen actually works pretty well. And if you're using this outdoors or, or, work, or just working on location, I think it works out really well. Now, we talked about gaming again. This is eight gigs of RAM and you can definitely get different configurations. And currently with the pricing that's going on, when I bought this laptop, it was $800. It's now $700 for the eight gigabyte version with 256 gigabytes of uh, storage. Uh, you can go to a 16 gigabyte version with 256 gigabytes of storage for $779. So it's even cheaper now, uh, which I can't believe for the kind of performance you're getting from this laptop. Now, configuration goes all the way to 32 gigabytes uh, with uh, two terabytes of storage at 1,199. So that's actually cost effective. Now, what do you get gaming wise? Now, Call of Duty Warzone just doesn't run well this machine. You can start up the game, you can play a little bit in the lobby, and DirectX just kept on crashing. So that might be a software issue, but I was able to run this at 720p with my frame rates uh, looking at around 40 frames per second, which again, it's not great, but I don't expect it to run a game like Warzone. Warzone can be a tasking game. Uh, but when we move to games that you expect to run on a system like this, like CSGO for instance, I was able to push up to 60 frames per second on CSGO. I don't play CSGO by the way, so you know, forgive my gameplay here. But I just wanted to see how well it performed with a game like CSGO. Now another game that of course a lot of people play is Overwatch. And Overwatch did quite well on this system. Uh, when I played places on the high settings, I was able to do about 60 to 70 frames per second. Uh, when I went to medium settings, uh, 
it went down, it went actually went up to about 77 to 80 frames per second. So you can play games like Overwatch quite well on the system like this. Now, the other thing, of course, is battery life. You know, they claim about, thir you know, 13 hours of battery life. And I have to tell you that it really does well with battery life because uh, the, uh, the processor does a really good job at minimizing, of course, uh, power uh, throughput so you're basically able to use this effectively for the amount of time you're using it so you can actually leave your charger at home and work for early take it on a weekend without needing to charge this device and that's actually pretty cool now it's got banger offs and speakers which are really loud and clear but i'd like you to take a listen to the speakers yourself and see how well they sound So yeah, speakers sound good and they sound really, really great and clear. So when you listen to audio on them, that's 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 a good experience for a laptop like this. Now, if you don't want to use the speakers, of course, you've got the headphone jack or you can actually connect Bluetooth headphones. And that brings up our sponsor for this video, which are the LG Freetone wireless earbuds. And let's see what they actually offer. These are truly unique wireless buds. I wanna thank LG for sending them over. I've got the white and black version and also for sponsoring this video. Now the Tone Wireless uh, has some really unique features, starting with the case, uh, which has USB Type-C charging. Five minutes of charge gives you 60 minutes of playback, which is nice. Also has wireless charging built in, so that's also pretty cool. Now the case itself, of course, when you open it up, reveals your true your wireless buds here. These are powered with Meridian technology built in, so you've got lossless audio support, uh, as built-in DSP, uh, those kind of things. But we'll get to the audio in a second. But the case itself is really unique because it's got a built-in UV light in there. What does that do? Well, it helps you kill bacteria, and LG says it kills up to 99% of bacteria, which is absolutely amazing, especially in the times like this. So you take it out, you put it back in the case, you plug it into charge and boom, it starts doing its job. So I love that feature and I think it's actually pretty cool. Now, in terms of the buds themselves, they have a really good fit uh, and a really good noise isolation. So they actually fit quite comfortably into your ears and you get nice, uh, just a nice seal in there and they don't actually fall off. Now, in terms of um, connectivity, you can connect to your smartphone, say like the LG Velvet, where it is a really seamless feature. It prompts you to download the application if you don't have it already. And once you go through that app, it gives you a lot more functionality with the buds themselves. Uh, you can basically see how to control the, use the controls on the earbuds. Also gives you built-in EQs where you can customize the sound the way you want it. So that's also a really good feature as well. And you can find your earbuds whenever you want to. Now, six hours of playback time, as well as combined 18 hours in total. So that is really, really nice. It also has built-in microphones. We do a good job for voice calls as well. So I think this is something a lot of people like, especially with just the cleanliness and health benefits that you kind of get with this. It's actually pretty cool. Plus, of course, the solid audio you're getting overall. You can check it out with the link down below. So overall, the um, HP NVX360 with, of course, the AMD um, 4000 series processor is a great laptop. Now, this is the second AMD-based laptop that I've reviewed. The first one, of course, was that AM, you know, Asus Zephyr G14, which packed a lot of power and performance in a small package and was priced really well at you know $1,500. Now you're going to something that's priced at you know $700 and still gives you some really good performance and battery life. So if you're looking at a laptop that you're gonna be using for work and you need to do some word processing, handle a lot of documents, and you wanna do some really light gaming, I mean, this is the perfect laptop for you. Again, pricing starting at $700. I would say go for the 16 gigabyte version, uh, which is priced at $779. I'll leave the links down for you guys down below. I think this is a great laptop to check out. And also, if you wanna pick up some true wireless buds, definitely check out our sponsor of the video, uh, the LG Free Tone Wireless, and see what they have to offer. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, and definitely subscribe to the channel. This is Thundee saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.